Tom, I understand we've got an exceptional energy car here on display in downtown Washington, D.C., and I know you're a director with Roush Manufacturing. First thing I think I'd want to ask is to tell us a little bit about your company. Okay, well, Roush Manufacturing actually is one of uh, four companies that Roush Enterprise uh, owns. We have Roush Racing, which is you know much more familiar to the, the public area where we house and, and own and operate 15 NASCAR teams, et cetera, et cetera. Um, then, then we have uh, Roush Performance Products, uh, which really generates uh, uh, products, uh, niche market, low volume products for the, the performance enthusiast, uh, crate engines and components of that nature. And then we have Roush Industries, which is a large part of Roush Enterprises, and they do the design, engineering, validation, testing, um, uh, and manufacturing of niche market vehicles. We do a lot of that uh, engineering and design work for the OEMs, Ford, Chrysler, and General Motors, and uh, which leads us to this, this particular product. Uh, we were looking to utilize all of the resources that we have at Roush in the design, engineering, manufacturing domain to do something for the, the community. Uh, Perk actually sought us out with this particular opportunity. Perk is a Propane Education Research Council and they provided us a grant uh, 14 months ago to do some work on the development of a light duty vehicle that runs de dedicated propane vehicle, uh, fuel. So we went to work. Um, we, we looked at a lot of different areas. Um, we, we looked at a lot of different systems on the market and we realized that there's nothing out there that was commercially viable to, to solve all of our program engineering needs. Uh, but we did start with the liquid propane injection system, trademarked by Clean Fuel USA. And we did an adaptation on this particular vehicle with that system. And as we were developing it over the 14 months, not only were we be able to integrate it into the design and development of the product, we actually created in handcraft brand new fuel rails that housed the Siemens injector. We were able to then uh, do all the durability testing on our engine facilities, our engine dynamometer testing facilities, and then we took the, uh, uh, the product to the vehicle level where we did a lot of engine calibration work. We're one of very few um, outside supply companies from Ford Motor Company that enabled us to, to go in and integrate this system with the OEM processor. So we're, we're able to get our functionality, our drive, and ultimately our customer satisfaction with a highly integrated project. So, so where are you at in the development of this product right now? Well, the product now is currently available for sale. Uh, we, are, we are currently had submitted our information to the uh, EPA and CARB for certification of conformity. And we expect that process to take about 13 weeks or so and the vehicle will be available as an 07 and a half model year and an 08 model year. So tell us a little bit more about the truck and, and, uh, and of course the fuel that it's uh, able to, to run on. The, the, uh, really the showcasing the technology is one of the features why we picked it up as Roush as the manufacturer and uh, we, we actually uh, employ liquid propane injection so we're taking a, a regular standard propane tank, propane vessel it's a toroidal tank in this particular configuration and I'll get to we offer two different configurations but the unique function of it is uh, we, we put a, a fuel injection pump inside the tank pressures in the neighborhood of 300 psi that keeps the liquid under pressure and in a li liquid state we're able then to to move that liquid under pressure to the fuel rail uh, located on the engine and compress it to uh, operating pressures of 200, 250 PSI, and we're actually squirting into the cylinder liquid propane. Instant vaporization, we're able to get a charge in there that can uh, uh, make up for any of the BTU deficiencies that propane has over gasoline, and we're able to get all of our power back for the 5.4 liter engine. So, so from a power delivery standpoint, gasoline and propane are identical in this system. Is there a best application for this type of vehicle or is it pretty much broad uh, broad type of use? Well the, the unique function of the liquid propane 
is uh, it is one of the only clean, environmental friendly fuels that is commercially available in, in widespread form. So, so the product isn't specifically designed for a fleet application or government or state fleets or individual propane fleets or anything like this. It can go down to the consumer uh, and retail end of the spectrum. And I say that because a lot of people don't realize, but the infrastructure for propane throughout the United States is much more readily available than anything else. So you're, 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 you're in over 4,000, maybe 5,000 refueling stations in the United States, and, um, and, and it's available wherever you, put, you fill up your RV today. So. Well, and I don't know uh, what the current state of uh, the, the price of, of the fuel is, but how, does, how will this compare uh, financially, not only for the cost of the vehicle, but also when it comes to using this type of fuel versus uh, gasoline or diesel? Good, good question. Um, obviously, gasoline prices today are up in over $3 a gallon, maybe three fifty dollars a gallon in some states. Uh, propane consistently less than that. Uh, Clean Fuels is uh, one of our partners in the system design here, uh, runs outlets, retail outlets throughout the United States. And they sent me just recently their commercial, commercially available retail pricing for propane, and we're averaging about $1.95 to $2 a gallon. The government, through the year 2010, is offering a tax incentive on this particular fuel, 50 cents a gallon. So you look at the $2 a gallon it is currently, take 50 cents off of that, now you're able to run this at $1.50 a gallon versus your $3 a gallon for, for gas. So what is the next step or, or, or where are you at in the process of, of taking this to, you said it's for sale, but um, kind of where do you go next from here? Well, I think the, uh, the, uh, the technology is such that it proven itself that it could be widespread, it's very durable, we're holding the, the original manufacturer's warranty on it, so it's three year, 36,000 mile warranty. It's, it's robust, it's durable, and I think the expansion into several more um, applications is, is mandatory and, and in our plans. So we're taking the uh, uh, base 5.4 liter V8 engine that's in here and expanding that into other um, vehicle derivatives like the F250, 350, obviously would be a natural. Uh, we've already embarked on another program that'll uh, look at the 6.8 liter V10 engine family for application in shuttle buses and that kind of uh, activity. So it's it's a it's a moving environment. And if people want to learn more about it and you know maybe get a chance to uh, see some more information, find out more, what what would they do? Well, you can always visit any of our websites. The the Roush uh, www .roush uh, ind.com, Roush Ind, uh, certainly house it. We do have a special, unique website for this, www.propanetruck.us. Uh, we can get a lot of information on the vehicle and, and product specs. Well, thank you very much. That's Tom Arnold, who's director of Roush Manufacturing, talking about a uh, Ford F-150 that's on display here in downtown Washington, D.C., that runs on propane, which is exceptional energy. I'm Chuck Zimmerman reporting.